And the unofficial start of summer has not been the sunny, warm weekend many planned for. Red flags were flying at the oceanfront today, and the National Weather Service expects hazardous beach conditions until tomorrow night. Brenda McIntosh shows us how people are dealing with this gloomy weather. It isn't exactly the beach weather many people hope for this Memorial Day weekend. While visitors still walked the boardwalk earlier today, most stayed clear of the rough waters. This wind is making the waves extra crazy, so I don't really see a lot of people out there. Gonzalo hoped to celebrate his birthday sitting in the sun by the beach, but Mother Nature had different plans. Walk around, see the sights, so you still have to take advantage of the day. And Gonzalo isn't the only one making the most out of the bad weather. Chicks on the beach manager Victoria Kelly says the restaurant planned to have live music on their outdoor deck Saturday, but the strong winds forced them to adjust. But we just had to accommodate considering the weather and now we have a band playing inside. Kelly says despite the gloom, so far they've had a successful weekend. Obviously looking outside, it's not that beautiful, but it's definitely beautiful inside. And if you want to avoid the next time red flags are flying at the beach, you're in luck. Virginia Beach city leaders recently created text updates that alert you of poor beach conditions. All you have to do is text the word beach to 67283 to sign up for the alerts. So that we can give our citizens and our visitors up to date real time status of what our waterways are like. In Virginia Beach, Brenda McIntosh, 13 News Now. And again, all you have to do is text the word beach to 67283 and you can get those updates on beach conditions like red flags, water quality concerns and closures. And don't forget, you can get weather updates from us sent straight to your phone while you're on the go this weekend. To download it, just scan that QR code on your screen.